welcome to Thrallback Thursday. This is where I teach you about paleontology and geology history. So, how the fields came to be. Today, we are going to talk about Sir Richard Owen and Dinosauria. So, Sir Richard Owen was a biologist in the 1800s who studied comparative anatomy, zoology, and paleontology. In 1842, he coined the term dinosauria for the, quote, distinct tribe or suborder of saurian reptiles. So, saurian just means lizard-like, so basically he saw these this group of animals, thought they were really lizard-like without really being lizards, and called them dinosauria, or dinosaurs. So, the name means terrible, potent, or powerfully great lizard in ancient Greek. Everybody always goes to the terrible lizards, but honestly, you know, fearfully great lizard? I like that one a little better, personally, because, you know, it gives it a little more oomph, I think. And it's less about being awful and more about just being... Arr. He gave them the name in reference to their size to evoke majesty. So he wasn't necessarily wanting people to be scared of them. He wanted them to understand just how amazingly huge these things were. At least the ones they were finding at the time. Um, it's, it's a dinosaur. Uh -huh. He not only established Dinosauria, but he also established the Natural History Museum in London with funds backed by Prince Albert the very same Prince Albert who was married to Queen Victoria. So he had the royal family's, you know, stamp of approval to start a dinosaur museum, which is super awesome. That is today's history lesson in paleontology, and I will oscillate you later. Oh, it's a different world, so you might need to adjust. Damn! Last field season, we went hiking in the heat to do some stratigraphy of the Dredge geology. Last field season, we found fossils from the sea to help.